What up, what up, guys? This year, doing a bucket service tutorial. Pretty basic. What we're going to be going over is how to download the newest bucket, update it when needed, you know, edit through ops, set a whitelist, um, you know, really anything, installing new plugins, everything from basic setup to anything you might really want to do. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. What I have here are the files that are organized, and they're just set by the type of file, just so kind of makes it easier for me to just go down and explain what everything is real quick so just start from the top we got the launch server dot command what this is is for Macs that's why you guys can see it doesn't really look usable for me since I'm on Windows but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just explain what it's gonna do so right now I'm gonna open it up in notepad plus plus which is a uh, great software for anyone who doesn't use it and you guys can see right here these are the basic commands and what it does is this will automatically it's automatically configured to open it up from your desktop in a folder called bucket server with a space in between so if you went ahead and you took this download from the description of course and just put it on your desktop you know in that folder then you'd be perfectly set to go you would just have to launch this file and you'd be good what the rest of is here is just the command for actually launching it which is the same on every on every uh, operating system and so XMS this is the minimum amount of uh, RAM this is the max and this is just telling it what to launch uh, this is the actual bucket file of minecraft and so this won't really change either so don't worry about that but pretty much if you want to change your ram right now it's set to one gig all you gotta do is set it in terms of megabytes so for anyone who doesn't know um, I don't know it's 10 1048 but uh, one gig is 1024 and so if you want to get more than that just multiply it by that and you'll get the amount of MB and just toss it in there pretty basic okay next we got the craft bucket that is that is minecraft the bucket build and I'll show you guys where to get that from how to do all that stuff and if it gave me tutorial this is just a folder with the actual map I'm gonna go ahead and delete it just so I can show you how to do that in the future plugins folder pretty basic what you got here we have essentials world edit and world guard these are just three plugins I think that every server should have and this way if they're already installed for you you guys will make use of them and not really have to worry about it uh, as far as configuration goes everything is done um, except for the MOTD which when you launch the server I'll, you'll see you know how to change all that uh, next file we got the world guard folder it just holds the logs don't worry about that and uh, as you guys will see all these any of these logs don't worry they're all going to be regenerated no matter what you do so if they're taking up space, which I promise you they will, at some point you'll see like a log file that's 7 gigs and you'll freak out, but no problem. Server.properties, this is a pretty big file. You guys can open it up in Notepad, Notepad++, anything you want, any text editor. And just keep in mind that this tutorial is good for Windows, Mac, and Linux, so you'll have no problems. I have launch commands for all of them, and you guys should be set. So right now what we got level name and a couple of these are redundant so just don't worry about them server ID server name level name to be quite to get honest with you I don't know what all of them are for I do know level name is going to be the most important and that's going to be whatever you want your actual world to be called whatever the folder is so as you guys remember is an FA gaming tutorial if I go ahead and just set this to NFA gaming you'll see how it's reflected accordingly hell world is an option if you want the actual map to be in hell of course spawn monsters is also off because we don't use it on our servers and just keep in mind they're all true false you know true is on false is off plugins is used to load stuff that you uh, need specifically to be placed in the properties file usually most plugins they're in the folder they're automatically going to be activated no problems there online mode we keep this on because you don't want to really worry about griefers things like that but let's say you don't have a game and I'm not promoting promoting you know the playing of this game or anything like that if you don't have it you should buy it it's a great game and not just cool guy it's definitely a good deal right now it's in beta so I would take advantage but you know if you put it to false let's say when the minecraft.net site is down because if, if you're playing and uh, if it is down you guys won't be able to connect you want to set that to false because it won't check accounts anything like that that's all spawn animals pretty obvious uh, PvP is player versus player this will just take care of whether you want other players to be able to attack each other most cases this would be no but maybe you do like a fight club or something I don't know use your creativity max players is just the number of clients that can connect to the server at one time 
this is more dependent on I would say your internet connection and your computer resources so whatever you think your computer can handle just you know you can play around with that uh, obviously if it's not a public server and you just got a couple of friends it shouldn't be a problem uh, server IP this is if you want to lock it to a certain IP address usually you won't have to worry about this anything that I haven't filled in don't worry about anything that I have if you need to change it you can do so just as I explained server port for most people watching this if you're watching this chances are you're not going to need to mess with this this is the default port and when you guys connect to most minecraft servers you guys will notice you don't enter in a port in the form of like colon 25563 the reason is the default port is automatically set so don't worry about that allow flight is whether you want fly mod on or off so if you're doing a legit server go ahead and turn that to false whitelist is the option if you want to set it so that only a select number, a select group of people can join. You put their names in the whitelist folder, and I'll show you that. And you can set this to true if you want enabled. And you guys got spawn protection. If you want that, you can set that up. Your choice. Okay, you get the Minecraft at SH. This is for Linux, and this is going to be a Linux. Um, and I'll actually show you. There's a full, there's a full, there's a full backup backend thing that this guy made. Ryump. Uh, definitely props to him. Once you run it, you guys have all these commands right here, and I'll put a link in the description for anyone who needs it. But pretty basic. You got these arguments. You got status, start, stop, restart, update, backup, friendly stop. I'm not gonna worry about all that. You guys can check that out yourselves, and I'll put a link in there for anyone who decides they want to use Linux. Banned IPs, banned players. If you guys want to ban anyone, in advance ops. Pretty basic. Just one per line. Anyone you want. Um, just read me. I have no idea why that's there. Server logs, these will just regenerate. You know, they're just the log of everything. Whitelist and world edit logs, things like that. Finally, we got the start server.bat. What this is for is to actually launch the server through Windows, and I'll just edit it and show you guys a little look. And if you're trying to edit this, easiest way would just be right click edit. Um, but you might need to set it to use Notepad if you haven't done so before. Notepad plus plus works, like I said anything you want pretty much this is the same command you guys saw before so I'm not going to go into it set the RAM whatever you want and uh, don't really worry about anything else this is just going to be what's best and easiest and don't worry about the bucket that YML that's that's all default so these are the files and so I'm going to go ahead and move on to some other stuff so we got the bucket right here, here bucket.org anyone who doesn't know it and to get the latest bucket there's a, bu there's a button or a link sorry called get craft bucket just click that and go ahead and you guys will see download craft buckets latest recommended build there you go simple as that you can just go ahead and go to save it and just replace whatever you already got click yes and uh, just let it download that's all it is it's really basic that's all you gotta do whenever there's a new update and if you guys wanna see a little bit more of how the actual uh, how the actual servers work I can show you where they have all the actual build if you go to ci.bucky.org, I believe, yeah, there you go, this is their repository, and you can download all this shit right here, you guys can see devcraft bucket, that's exactly what we're going to want, that is what bucket is, and then you guys can see the latest, and click that, pretty much this is like, if you're trying to, you know, do like unrecommended builds, things like that, you guys will see all these, you know, last build, things like that, so, you don't really need to play around with this too much, I would just update, like, they put out builds pretty quick. You guys can see they're already at 806 and on the left. Yes, and see they're putting out updates pretty often. If you guys can see, almost every day, a couple times a day at times, four times, three times. Doesn't matter. I mean, really every week if you just do it, you should be up to date and get most things. Cause whenever something really new comes out, I'm sure you'll know about it and you'll go do it anyways. So that's that. Uh, once you guys got, so you guys got updates down and everything's done downloading. I can go ahead and just launch it real quick for you. And I'm on Windows, so I'm going to use the start server. And you guys will notice that uh, it's going to be preparing spawn area. Pretty basic. This is just because, obviously, it's a new map. And so in Minecraft, I just go ahead and use localhost. So keep that in mind when you're hosting a server. No matter if you have your friends playing on it, you're going to have to always connect to localhost. That, or you can even do 127.0.0.1. That's the same thing on every computer it's pretty basic so we have a whole map here that's generating and you guys can see the MOTD over here walk into the server vish and uh, whoops 
and you can see all the lines and it shows you where to edit it there's a config.yml file in plugin slash essentials just go ahead and change that if you need to I'm sure you will anyways so I'll let you guys take care of that but uh, I'm gonna go back and show you guys how to do some plugins and finally when I close I'll show you how to port forward that way your friends who you want to play with can actually play with you okay so we let's say you guys want to get a plugin right this is the plugin list and I can toss a link in the description if you want pretty much this is the entire database of plugins that are on bucket pretty neat so uh, you know I'm just gonna go ahead and find something random okay error build version 1.0 once you click on the link there will usually be a jar download if there are any additional instructions that you need to follow people will always explain it it's really simple but go ahead and download the jar you're gonna want to save it and inside your actual inside your actual folder there will be a folder called plugins and you just save the jar file now you guys will notice that there's folders for a lot of them if there's anything that needs to be done the uh, usually it will generate it otherwise you can you know create your own folders and it'll tell you to do so this one doesn't need that it seems pretty simple so it's saved and you guys will notice again in my plugins folder it's here so I'm gonna go ahead and launch the server up again and I'm gonna show you where it shows that once the server actually starts it'll show you how it loads all the plugins and you guys can see 4.3 enabled world edit um, world guard you know no permissions found and uh, finally loading essentials and the first one is air build most of these applications you guys will notice are supportive of permissions which is a whole system on who can do what and it's really customizable and there's no way I'd be able to fit it in so that'll be another video but you guys can see that and uh, I don't really know how to use it so I'm not going to go into the game and waste time with that finally the last thing you're going to want to do is port forward uh, there's a really cool site called portforward.com and uh, it's going to let you go through a plethora of routers you guys will see literally anything that's been built most of you guys have it so I would just suggest go ahead and search up your router and uh, I got a Belkin I don't really remember which one I have and I don't feel like going into the other room so uh, I'm just gonna pick a, I picked a random one. I got a tab open here. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just hit search and look for Minecraft. And they have a tab for Minecraft server. You guys see this link? Go ahead and click it. All it is is it's gonna help you do everything. And one thing that you're gonna need to know is your internal IP. They have a guide right here. Find your router's IP address and all that stuff. You're gonna need all. You're gonna need a couple things. What you're gonna want to do real quick if you're on Windows. Just go to command and type ipconfig and uh, you'll see your IPv4 address and mine's 192.168.2.2 Usually that's, gonna, that's obviously going to differ so don't worry about that too much and uh, I almost forgot the default gateway that is what your, I, what your router's IP is again these guys have a guide so I'm not going to really go into it just check that out okay and uh, here's what mine looks like I got a bunch of stuff port forwarded here but if you guys notice it looks just about the same thing and uh, I get the same thing right here and I got my Minecraft port forwarded right here the port is 25565 that's the default one like I said most people don't want to change it but if you do want to change it make sure you do so and uh, everything will update and you guys will notice that uh, everything over here kinda helps you out and yeah so if you guys have any questions with that, just leave me a comment and I'll help you out. And uh, again, they have this port checker tool if you guys want to make sure that it's open. And you got to download it and it's all that crap. So I'm probably not going to do it myself. But there's a lot of web websites where you can check it as well. Uh, there's this one link I'll put up if you guys are too lazy to get your internal IP and all that stuff. But besides that, I feel like I've covered everything and make sure that you guys do port forward because if you don't your friends won't be able to connect to you only we will and uh, besides that if you guys have any questions leave me a comment and I'll definitely answer you yes hope you guys set this up otherwise enjoy playing some Minecraft with your friends I right, guess if this helped you out please do subscribe so we can get bigger all right guys see ya